the ninth round of cookie political talks between the center represented by interlocutor AB Mathur, Manipur state government represented by state interlocutor Ibomcha Singh, and delegations of cookie groups, United People's Front UPF, and cookie national organization KNO was held in New Delhi's Hotel Ashok on the 25th of June. The UPF and KNO were represented by seven members each. It must be remembered that the cookies who were earlier demanding separate statehood toned it down to demanding autonomous territorial council in 2018. The recently held talk was mainly centered around this and related demands. Both sides were satisfied with the progress of talks. The political dialogue that was conducted today for the uh, cookies in Manipur, the Indo cookie political talk, it was substantive. We have uh, gone through the substance of the Charter of Demands. We have speak on the details. So it was very fruitful and substantive talk was started by the government of India. Yes, it was a very uh, productive meeting. Uh, we have touched on a number of issues. Uh, the interlocutor was very efficient in uh, dealing with the whole talks. So we have touched upon subjects uh, uh, quite a bit. Um, so the process is going on very well, uh, much better than we anticipated, um, both from the side of the organizations and of course particularly the uh, state's interlocutor and of course the um, government's interlocutor. So all went uh, well. It was a dialogue where sensible, uh, gentlemanly um, conversations. So we came across some difficult issues also, but those were also dealt with in a very mature way. Uh, and the advantage is that um, with Keno and UPF, our demands are for political settlement within the constitutional framework. So that makes uh, matters a lot easier. Asked about the apprehensions that ceding to demands of the cookies by the government would antagonize the Nagas and vice versa, the cookie leaders clearly said that they want harmonious relation with Nagas. The Nagas were our neighbors, they will always be our neighbors and you have to learn to live with your neighbors. So when your neighbors, of course, something happens to your neighbor, you, have, you will experience and you will get to know which is for sure. So the cookies don't have any problem with the Nagas uh, reaching a political solution. And we also hope that the Nagas also will not have any problem uh, for the cookies problem to be settled. Because uh, we have our own territorial ancestral lands. So the cookies are speaking on the cookie ancestral lands. Well, the Nagas might be speaking on the cookie ancestral lands. So solution for both the sides is a win-win situation. Suggestions that the government hold joint meetings with Nagas, Cookies and other stakeholders to bring out a mutually acceptable solution are also doing the rounds. And maybe a point will come where Government of India, Nagas and Cookies can sit together and look for a mutually acceptable solution. That would be our dream because Nagas have their rights, Cookies have their rights, so there's, you know, any other community in the vicinity. So the problem may be focused or concentrated between Kukis and Nagas, but that I say exists primarily because there's a lot of suspicion, misunderstanding, and there's never been any dialogue between the two. Elaborating on the constituents of their demanded territorial council, the Kukis agreed that they discussed the Borderland Territorial Council, the BTC model, but wanted more additions, including financial autonomy. Yes, we are comparing our demands with the BTC. But then, uh, as you would know, um, the BTC model, while it's good on paper, there are a lot of problems voters are complaining. They want to go back to statehood. And the reason is, as clearly highlighted by the interlocutor today, that uh, the problems with the BTC is not the text, it's non-implementation. 
The cookie groups have been asked by the government to collect and furnish details about ancestral lands and other issues before the next round of talks. These are pertaining to the traditional land rights of the cookies and uh, the villages. Of course, when we're speaking about an autonomy, it should have a boundary. So we need more details on this. So we'll be coming up with more details on the boundaries and the cookie areas, the claims that uh, we make. So hopefully, once all these details are collected and discussed with the government, uh, solution will be reached.